Yo, what's up, team? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. It's time to react, y'all. Yes, it is, gentlemen. And what we reacted to today. What happened to Zordon? Power Rangers explain. Ooh. Yeah. All right, guys. So before we get started, man, I wanted to shout out the Six Ranger for letting us uh, check out his channel and react to his stuff. So do us a favor and subscribe to his channel. We're going to leave a link in the description below. Make sure you do that. Yeah, I love the Six Ranger channel, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad we're able to kind of dive into some of this information because last video we did, you know, I, I made sure that we, we got to get on the same page with Power Ranger. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. you know, learning the information and the history is going to get us on the right on the right path because we know we know from the show, but there's so mm -hmm. much mytho that goes down with this. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm taking it there to you, with you guys. You know, I want to be able to break it down with everybody so we can be on the same page page at the end of the day so the arguments are even better yeah. that's fair <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean it's more phenomenal yes <laughs> this guy all right so you guys ready to react yep, yep. let's go ahead and put these headphones on all right yes all right gentlemen you ready yep all right it's going to start this video right now we all know zordon as the big blue floating head that leads and guides the power rangers in the fight against evil for the first few seasons of the power rangers from mighty morphin all the way to in space he is one of the most memorable and iconic things about the franchise in general. But who exactly was he? Let's find out. Now, the actual origin and backstory is pretty clouded in the show. We are given very little information about his early life, other than that he is some sort of mage from Altar. True. Although the comic book is essentially set in an alternate universe to the show, I always take these sorts of things as canon as they don't contradict or change anything within the main timeline. Nice. So, I'll give you a brief outline of the origins we are given for Zordon through the comics, before moving solely into the show's timeline. So, over 10,000 years ago, Zordon had a friend named Lady Fienna. She just so happened to marry and get pregnant by a man named Master Vile, giving mm -hmm. birth to their daughter, Rita Repulsa. Fienna eventually realized the true nature of the evil Master Vile and left him. Zordon helped protect her and Rita from her evil husband, but eventually he caught up to them. He took Rita and raised her himself. If you'd like to know more on Rita's backstory, I recently covered it on the channel, so you can go back and check that out if you're interested. Nice. Later, Zordon went to visit King Lexian on the planet Edenoi. Mass Rider fans will recognize those names. <laughs> yeah. He realized that the planet was losing a war with Master Vile, blaming himself for not being able to protect the universe effectively. The people of Edenoi then built Alpha-1 to help Zordon in the war against evil. Before long, Rita Repulsa sought to conquer many worlds in the universe. Among the opposition was Zordon. War then broke out between Zordon and the factions of Rita. This war stretched for 2,000 years and across countless planets. Many of Zordon's warriors perished in battle with Rita's minions, such as the Nasty Knight. Sometime during the conflict, Rita entered into the service of the Great Lord Zed, who gave her the task of conquering Earth. She and her henchmen occupied a palace on Earth's moon, located directly above the location of the powerful Zeocrystal. It was also during this period that Zordon discovered the five power coins and a map to the Desert of Despair. It was also known that Rita came into possession of a sixth power coin, the Dragon Dagger, and the Dragon Zord, through unknown means. Mm. In the closing days of the war, Take Rita picture. would enact one mm -hmm. final act of defiance by using her powers to banish Zordon into a time warp in which he existed outside of normal time. However, before Zordon was gone, he sealed Rita and her minions into a space dumpster where they were to reside for eternity. His only communication from this point onwards with the outside world would be through an energy tube. Zordon knew that Rita could one day return and maybe continue her war on Earth. So in preparation, he constructed a base of operations known as the Command Center in the Californian desert and used it to stage the creation of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It was also around this time that he befriended a young robot created again by King Lexian named Alpha-5. He became a father figure of sorts to Alpha-5 after he left his home planet Edenoi. Anyway, in 1993, Rita's dumpster was rediscovered by a group of astronauts. They released her and she continued with her mission to conquer Earth. In response to this, Zordon, who again was now just a head in a tube, asked Alpha to bring him five teenagers with attitude, creating the first official generation of Power Rangers. When Yo, Tommy geez. Oliver became the evil Green Ranger with the sixth power coin he received from Rita, he sabotaged the command center and disrupted the link to Zordon. After much turmoil, Alpha re-established the link and Zordon helped the Rangers stop Tommy's evil rampage. Once the evil spell on Tommy was broken, Zordon accepted the new Ranger with open arms. 
even given him an enormous amount of his own energy to help him continue as a ranger after a significant amount of his energy was lost. When those powers eventually ran dry, Zordon made him into the White Ranger. When Lord Zed banished Rita and began his own conquest for Earth, Zordon transformed the ranger's Dino Zords into Thunder Zords, showing again exactly how powerful he is. He went on to eventually pass powers onto a few new rangers, Aisha, Rocky, Adam and Catherine. Later, when Rita's father, Master Vile, arrived to lecture his daughter on her choice of men, he helped her and Zed with their conquest. He transformed the rangers back into children, and it was during this time Damn. that the alien rangers from the planet Aquatar looked after the Earth during the rangers' absence. Zordon continued to act as a mentor for these rangers during this time. The team would eventually be turned back into adults and gain the powerful Zeo Crystal. However, Goldar and Rito had managed to destroy the command center. But fortunately, Zordon and Alpha had moved to an all-new power chamber, a much improved version of the command center. Zordon utilized the power of the Zeo Crystal to give the new powers to the rangers, making them Zeo Power Rangers. Nice. He also welcomed Tanya Sloan to the team as the new Yellow Ranger. With Billy Cranston now acting as a technical aide to the team, Zordon continued to mentor the rangers, giving them new weapons, zords, and any advice he could offer them against the monsters of the Machine Empire that threatened the Earth. Zordon was also reunited with one of his former rangers, the original Red Ranger, nice. Jason Lee Scott, who took temporary control of the Gold Zeo Ranger powers from Trey of Triforia. Again, if you want to know more about the Gold Ranger, we have recently done a video on him too, so check that out if that's of any I interest. Will. <laughs> so one day, the good wizard Larry Gott came to Earth to flee from Divatox, who wanted his magical key, capable of passing through safely into another dimension and join forces with Malagor. Larry got sought the help of Zordon, who summoned the Rangers. He knew that to defeat Divatox and Malagor, the Zeo powers would not be enough. So he and Alpha began to work on the Turbo powers, marking the first time that a sentient being was the source of a Ranger's power instead of an artifact created by one. Ooh. He then sent Tommy, Tanya, Kat, Adam and the newest Ranger, Justin Stewart, as Rocky had just been injured, to the ocean where a phantom ship was awaiting them to take them through the Nemesis Triangle. The Nemesis Triangle was essentially a border between two dimensions. Then early on in the Turbo season, Zordon and Alpha 5 discovered that a temporary wormhole had opened up that would take them back to his homeworld, Eltar. He had the wizard Larry got use his magic to release Zordon from his time warp so that he and Alpha could return to the planet of Eltar and be reunited with Zordon's family, saying farewell to the Power Rangers, leaving them in the capable hands of a lifelong friend, Demetria. Mm -hmm. Zordon later returned to witness the power transfer ceremony. Not much was known about what happened to the Great Wizard after this, except that he was involved in the War on Eltar, where the Grand Monarch of Evil, Dark Spectre, and his forces invaded the planet, and Zordon was captured by them. Now, this of course takes us on to the events of Power Rangers in space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the Turbo Rangers journeyed to space to find Zordon, they joined Andros, the Red Space Ranger, and became Space Rangers themselves. Dark Spectre had put Divatox in charge of keeping Zordon from the Power Rangers. The Phantom Ranger was also tracking the wizard. In the end, Andros, on the orders of his former mentor, would be forced to kill Zordon by smashing the column that contained him in order to defeat evil forces once and for all by unleashing a power energy wave that washed across several galaxies. Zordon's energy wave destroyed many of the monsters and villains that were attacking the universe and purified Rita Repulsa, Lord Zed, Divatox and Astronomer. Yep. <laughs> Zordon's legacy and importance throughout all of the Power Rangers universe cannot be put into words. This His is impact is unrivaled. Without Zordon, there would likely be no Rangers. Mm -hmm. I personally wish that they would have explained more about the extent and limits of his powers. We know that he created powers. He created Zords. Well, what else could he do? We know that he was a mage or wizard of some sort, but what exactly does that mean? I guess the extent of his powers is kept intentionally mysterious, similar to the wizards in The Lord of the Rings, for example. Right. Tolkien always kept the magic system kind of mysterious. It makes it a little more real. If you are interested in learning more about Zordon's backstory, Boom Studios have recently been including a little mini-series of sorts at the start of each of their recent issues, covering Zordon's journey to becoming what he is today. Nice, nice. It's super cool. interesting and it's great to see him and other characters interact on Eltar. Definitely check it out if that interests you. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video on Zordon. Let me know in the comments down that below who you would like to that see. That was dope. Next. Don't forget if you want to support. That was dope. Yeah, man. That was dope.
Shout out to Six Ranger for that one. That was yep. a great breakdown, man. Check out his channel. Yeah, man. That was dope, man. I really appreciate that one. Um, so it's official, yeah. I need a Zordon story. You feel me? I, I, I need to see what happened before the Teenage Mutant Attitude showed up. And, I, I want that story. That's going to be an epic sci-fi space story. And so Zordon is from, El Zordon is from Eltar. And he was on the planet of... Where Mass Rider. Yeah, yeah Mass Rider was, was at. So he was hanging out there. And that's where Alf was from. I'm right. Get, right? Yeah. So I'm just saying, if, if if we see Zordon, young Zordon... And now we know how Mass Rider yeah, got his powers. Exactly. Yeah. So if, if we see young Zordon throwing hands, is that King the Masked Rider of that time? or Possibly. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> the breakdown is amazing, man. Shout out to Six Ranger and shout out to uh, uh, Morphin Master. Yeah. They're both their takes on Zordon and information is very uh, appreciated over here. Um, I love uh, the idea. It makes the Zordon that much better to me. You know what I mean? And I'm already, I'm like, y'all, I'm already thinking like, where the juice is, what, what's going on, how, mm -hmm. what, when, and then and, and, and whatever Zordon did, I'm with y'all with that. I'm 100% with there. I just, I'm reserving myself right now because I want I want to get so much more out of this character because it's going to mean so much more to the, the epicness of superhero or Power Rangers. A lot of people don't consider Power Rangers superhero, but they are they superheroes. Are. And they have a lot of, excuse me, they have cosmic powers, bro. Like, you know, the Morphin Grid, like there's cosmic energy, like, yo, like, when you look at when you think of Cosmo, you think of uh, Silver Surfer. He's a cosmic being. Mm -hmm. Well, the Power Rangers right, right. have powers from cosmic energy. Yeah. So they they can be com comparably pretty pretty damn strong. You know what I mean? Yeah, their suits are made of a, a of their a suit. cosmic metal. Like yeah, like they, they own some other stuff. So for real. knowing Zordon is mage, this this wizard or something with all this epic power, and then knowing where he comes from. And I'm glad that they're actually diving into that because that's something that I think the fans really need. You know what I mean? Even though it wasn't really a big thing when we were younger, no. you know, we were kids, but for Power Rangers to keep going, you know, Power Rangers, 30 years, uh, you know, mm -hmm. from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and we're not even talking about Super Sentai. I think Super Sentai is, what, 50? Yeah. yeah. Since the 70s or something like that? Yeah, Super Sentai was so, running way before. So, so you know... This, these stories need to open up and I'm glad we're getting more about Zordon man and I'm glad here with my bros man it's like being a kid man watching this stuff man you're breaking the, breaking this down man and appreciate the, the 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 hard work you know from Six Ranger for this video man like yo breaking that down man that ain't easy it ain't easy it's, being green yeah. like <laughs> you know what I mean but you know it sparks the idea for newer shows and bigger budget movies too because now there's actual source material out there when the stuff is coming out it was just the shows that's the only canon that we knew yeah, yeah it's yeah, kind yeah. of like uh like he said six hundred said it's, it's kind of its own universe yeah. and, and but if you're gonna if you're gonna draw from those origin story stuff you can utilize that and build your universe now because now you're going in and out you're showing the team but you're showing the history of other planets and yeah where the stuff that they have and consume originates from yeah uh -huh. because because now it's not from... an excuse now you have to now you have to dive into that stuff yep. because yeah. because just based based on my memory of the show right uh the show was the show was light on 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 details for much of the time right, right. but the lore built in like slowly over time because mm -hmm. the morphing grid was throwaway and then it, it started to gain more importance right. and then you had uh then it was like okay the power coins were just the power coins. And then it was like, no, these were actually created by my man Ninja in, in the Desert of Despair where he chill at. So right. it, it, it was always adding. And I like the fact that it's been so long and so much lore has been added since then. Yeah, I'm down for it, man. This is it's epic lore, too. It, it, yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's no propaganda. It's Zoran, bro. Yeah. Like, right. yo, like Eltar, you know, he's on a planet. It's mm -hmm. simple. One, two, three, ABC. Mm -hmm. But... It's, it's just a different take like, on it. Yeah, I'm down it, for it. It, it almost feels like biblical to a degree. What a most yeah. sci-fi space opera it, to it. it, it and then, which is tight. And then what the lore, the, the expanded lore helps make sense of of certain things. And you'd be like, oh, no wonder this person was so much, so much, so powerful. Yep. Because it's like, okay, you had buffs. <laughs> yeah, he, he, uh, Zordon, Zordon is a, a force to be reckoned with. Because you got to remember, Zordon fought against Rita, Lord Zed, uh, 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 Master Vile, Master Vile, um, Diva Tox. What was the the, the machines? Uh, uh, the uh, King Mondo, King Mondo, um, and and Dark Specter, Dark Spe and and Granite. 
He was by himself. Those are yeah. just different entities coming your way. Zord, these were people Zordon was fading for thousands of years. Yeah, 2,000, 3,000 years. And, and, and the crazy thing is you had Lord Zed, Rita Repulsa, and Master Vile team up and go against Lord, then go against uh, the Power Rangers, bro. And yeah. they were able to overcome that obstacle. Wow. So, so scenarios kind of remind me of like Zod Jarrell to a degree. Yeah, to a Certain scenarios. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think Lord Zed and... and, and Same and, ideals, and, but different beliefs. I think Lord Zed and... Um, uh, uh, Zordon go way back. Like yeah. they were like, we need that. Buddies yeah. or something like yeah. that. I, I need to see like that. Lord Zed. For, so, from my knowledge, I don't, I don't know how true this is. My knowledge says that him and Zordon were uh, like he's Zordon Sinestro. Mm. From from my I, knowledge, uh, like he was he was Zordon's mentor and he turned on him. Uh, and some type of in some type of way, he ended up getting turned inside out. Uh, <laughs> skin gone <laughs> bro. Right. just yeah. brain and muscles yep so i mean you know it, nah, it, it's, it's dope it's, it's dope man but guess what it's not about us it's about y'all post your comments down below let us know what y'all thought about this episode and make sure you guys take a look at six rangers channel he has a lot of content about power rangers on there i mean his name is the six ranger man he's already got power he got the power coin already he's telling us you something. know what i'm saying he's man. telling us something man. Man. Let us know man where you get that? my story yeah do you, you want to get titanus where'd you get that from <laughs> you know what i mean but take a look at his channel the link will be down below if you're new to our channel go ahead and press the subscribe button thumbs this video up don't forget to share instagram facebook twitter also follow us on instagram and twitter i'm j3 on the show guys. Woo! ninja Assassin. it's your boy c road to 100,000 subscribers guys